Hello, hello. I hope everybody's having a good Friday. I hope everyone either has enjoyed their day, is in the middle of their day enjoying their day or I hope that you do enjoy your day depending on what time it is where you are. We'll start in about 18 minutes. Audio check is good. So, that's always a good sign when things are working. Um we'll be we will be starting in about five seconds. Let me get ready here. Two, one. Well, hello and welcome to this English lesson about Halloween. For those of you that don't know what Halloween is, it's a tradition. It's an event. It's not really a celebration. I guess you could call it that. It's something that happens at the end of October every year and it involves candy and costumes and a lot of other things which I will be explaining in this lesson. Uh Halloween for me as a child was a very enjoyable time because my parents would take me out for Halloween. I would get dressed up and we would go to all of the neighbors houses and we would get lots of candy. Sometimes we would even get pop like soda uh and one of our neighbors even gave us money uh at Halloween. So, that was kind of cool but uh if you don't know what Halloween is, it's coming up this weekend. Stick around for this lesson and I will explain all of the aspects of Halloween to you that you need to know to have a good conversation about it in English or at the very least to understand other people when they talk about Halloween. Before we get started, of course, I do wanna say hi to Todd and Dave. Thanks uh, for being here, guys, to moderate the chat. That is very nice of you to do that each week. I do wanna say hi to a lot of people. I know Sean from Free 99 English is here. Brent from American English with this guy is here. Rod from Rod the English teacher is here. All of those guys have YouTube channels. You should check them out at some point. Uh hi to a bunch of regulars as well. Yaroslav, Ricardo, uh Lemon Cute is here. I know that when I scroll back, I see Alexi and Lolly Lolly and Freddie and Maria C and Tony and Julia and Mode Eggs and Key Park and I know Eugene is here somewhere and Alexi Konkoff is here. Uh so many regulars and members. Good to see all of you. I can't say all of your names of course because that would just take too long but I'm happy that all of you are here for this lesson about Halloween. This lesson, this is an interesting lesson because it's the first lesson where a couple people sent me messages last night saying they didn't think I should do a lesson on Halloween. Halloween is an interesting thing to talk about because on one hand, it's a fun holiday for kids but on the other hand, you'll see images um of ghosts and witches and some really strange things. Um so, as an English teacher, here is what I think about this. If this lesson is controversial, I'm still going to do it because it's important that you know the words and phrases to be able to talk about Halloween. It doesn't mean that you have to go out for Halloween. It doesn't mean that you have to celebrate it but as an English learner, it's always a good idea to learn everything about a language. Even the things that maybe you don't want to learn about. Quick audio check says everything is good. So, let's get started. So, as you can see here, um most graphics or images that you find for Halloween, they'll have things like skulls and bats and spiders and witches hats and jack-o'-lanterns which I'll talk about later. But they're not images of fun things which is kind of strange because Halloween is something that happens once a year and generally, it's something that is fun. Halloween happens on October 31st. It's in a couple of days and on that day, uh it's usually fairly cool weather in our area but in spite of the cold, kids will go out and they will go from house to house. They will go from door to door and they'll ring the doorbell or they'll knock and then they'll say trick or treat. Now, I think a long time ago, trick or treat meant either give me a treat, give me some candy or I will play a trick on you but it's not very often that kids actually play tricks on people at Halloween. 99.9% of the time, kids say trick or treat and the person at the house they are at will give them some kind of candy or chocolate. So, trick or treat, I'm going to talk about this on two slides because trick or treat is what kids say. So, they ring the doorbell, ding dong. When the door opens, they hold out their Halloween bag and they say trick or treat 
and then the person usually gives them some kind of candy. We also use it as a verb though. So, you can say that you're going to go trick or treating. Okay. Well, not exactly a verb but um you can say that you are going to participate in the act of trick or treating. So, someone at work yesterday just said, are you taking your kids out to go trick or treating this weekend? And I responded by saying, no, um my youngest kid is too old for uh to go trick or treating. Usually in our family, once our kids are about 12 years old, they don't go out trick or treating anymore. We don't take them out trick or treating. Um just so you know, with little kids, parents usually go with when they go trick or treating and when they're around age 12 or 13, they might go with a group of friends trick or treating. Um but uh, our kids are too old to go trick or treating but um we will be home. I'll show you something in a sec. We will be home on that evening and we will of course be handing out candy. Um usually uh kids will dress up in a costume. So, they will decide what they want to be for Halloween, okay? They'll decide how they want to dress up for Halloween. So, a common question will be this. What are you gonna be for Halloween? And that means what costume are you going to wear? What character or um what are you going to dress up as? When I, when I was a kid, you could either be a cow, a pirate, a cowboy or a princess. I think we only really had four Halloween costumes at our house um and so you would choose one of those when you went out. Of course, I used the verb to dress up already. Um either you say I'm going to be Mario for Halloween. I'm going to wear a Mario costume for Halloween or I'm going to dress up as Mario for Halloween. A few different ways to talk about how you are going to um dress up in order to go out for Halloween. And maybe you'll wear a mask. You can see this kid has a little mask on. Um she has a mask that has a little it looks like a little beak. Maybe she's trying to pretend to be a bird. Um so you can not only dress up uh as people, you can dress up as animals as well. As you might have heard when I said I would dress up as a cow sometimes for Halloween. I think my mom actually made the cow costume. I should ask her about it today. I'm going to see my mom tonight. I should ask her about the cow costume. We'll probably have a good laugh about it. So, some of the most popular costumes. Um at Halloween, the probably the most popular costume is to dress up as a superhero. When I give out candy this weekend, I will probably see a few Batmans, some Supermans, some Wonder Womans, uh probably a few Black Widows, probably um Iron Man, uh Captain America. All of the superheroes that you see in movies usually show up at your door um but usually a lot shorter because they're kids. Um so, you will see a lot of superheroes. I think uh Batman is probably one of the most popular ones. Although last year, I did see a lot of kids dressed up as Iron Man as well. Um another common costume is to be a pirate. If you're not sure what a pirate is, a pirate is someone from a long time ago who would sail around on a boat and attack other boats and steal all of their gold and other things that were valuable. Uh so, for some reason, this has survived as a uh, as a Halloween costume quite often. I think because it's simple. If you wear a white poofy shirt and a hat and find a plastic sword, you're basically a pirate. So, it's a simple costume for parents to uh, put together for their kids to wear. Uh sometimes you just dress up as normal people. Kids will dress up as construction workers. Uh they'll dress up well, I was gonna say as teachers but I've never seen that happen. Um but kids will dress up as construction workers. They will dress up um as firefighters. Um I think I have one here. They will dress up as regular jobs as well. Um as I mentioned, one of the costumes we had as a kid was a princess costume. I think my mom found a dress somewhere and so my sister sometimes would go as a princess. Still a very very common costume at Halloween to see kids come as a princess. Oh, I think I went the wrong way. Um sometimes kids dress up as a mummy although this costume doesn't always survive the evening. A mummy is uh someone 
Yeah, well, I don't know if you've ever watched a movie with mummies in it. Uh, mummification is something they do to people after they pass away thousands of years ago in Egypt uh, and they would put them in the pyramids but mummies have lots of white strips of cloth around them. So, it becomes kind of um I guess a relatively easy costume although most of the time when someone dresses up as a mummy the the, the cloth starts to fall off as the evening goes by. And then we said firefighter. Another very common costume is to dress up as a ghost. Um I think this is a common costume as well. Sorry, I'm not ignoring you. I'm just pulling up my slides over here for a second because I need to kind of follow along. Where did they go? I can't. I the alphabet's not working for me in my brain right now. I'll find them later. Uh, a ghost is a very common costume because all you need is an old white sheet and you cut a few holes in it and voila. That's a French word but we use it in English too. Voila, you have a a Halloween costume. So, you will often see one or two ghosts um really short ghosts uh during the Halloween season or on the evening of Halloween. So, let me find those slides for a second and I will get back to the lesson. There we go. Okay, I think we should jump over and do some questions for a moment. Let me find my questions over here. Um let me see here. First question is from Renata. Good morning, Bob. Do you have a lot of Halloween memories from your childhood? Stay safe and well, sir. Have a great day and happy Halloween. Brazil doesn't have it. I should have mentioned that. That Halloween is very much uh, a tradition or something we do here in Canada. It's also quite common in the United States um, and it will depend on your country. So, this lesson, it's an English lesson but I'm talking very much about a North American activity, okay? Um yes, I have good memories of Halloween. Um by the way, I live out in the country. So, we would like drive in a car and we would only go to about seven or eight places, not very many. Uh and then at each place, everyone would give us lots of candy. So, a little different for kids in the country. We didn't walk from house to house because it's like a few kilometers between houses uh but we did definitely go out. My mom and dad took us out and we usually got lots of candy and then I just ate candy for days on end. Uh let's see here. Yaroslav says, morning the wisest teacher Bob. I thought I thought you was gonna say the weirdest teacher Bob. (laughs) What is the scariest thing you have already done? Take care. Well, the scariest thing I did is I went on a haunted house ride at a fair and I'll talk a little bit more about haunted houses uh, in this lesson um where you rode in a little car through this dark tunnel and then they would do things with lights and people to scare you that and that really scared me. I was about 14 years old and I still remember doing that. Moat says, I haven't picked a costume for Halloween yet. I think I'm going with Bob the Canadian costume. Great character. What do you think? I'll share some of the cookies with you. All you need is a blue shirt and maybe you might have to cut your hair short or wear a short gray wig and you have a Bob the Canadian costume ready to go. Great idea. Uh hey, as I move to the next question, I wanna say uh, hi to the 424 people watching. Uh if you are new here, don't forget to click that little red subscribe button right there to subscribe to the channel. It's free and you will get notified when I put a new video out. Next question from Ty. Hello, Mr. Bob. Happy Halloween, Mr. Bob. My question is, what do people usually do on Halloween? I know trick-or-treating is one of them. Thanks for your answer. So, there's there's three things people usually do on Halloween. If you're a kid, you will probably go out trick-or-treating. If you are like a teenager or someone in their early 20s, you might go to a Halloween party and if you're old like me, you will probably stay home and hand out candy. Those those are the three possibilities uh for Halloween, I think. There might be more but generally that's uh that's the three main choices. So, I will talk about Halloween parties in a bit as well. Uh Orsi says, hi, Bob. Do you have in Canada All Saints Day like in some countries in Europe? It's on our calendar but it's not a holiday and it's not a day that non-religious people celebrate. So, it is there. I am familiar with the term with the day um but it's not um 
It's not as common as something like Christmas or Labor Day um where we do things um to to celebrate the day. Um Lemon Cute says, hi, Bob. Have a great day. Do you believe ghosts are real and are you afraid of them when you when you were a child or are you afraid of something else? So, I don't think ghosts are real but sometimes at night, I hear things and I wonder where the sound is coming from. It's usually a squirrel or some other animal. Um so, I don't believe in ghosts but sometimes you hear things. Sometimes things go bump in the night. That's a little English phrase we use about sounds that you hear when you're trying to sleep. Um and I don't like walking to the barn at night in the dark. So, I'm not I don't believe in ghosts and I'm not afraid of ghosts but I don't like being outside by myself in the middle of the night when it's really dark. And the next question is the same from Mauricio. Hello, Big Bob. Do you believe in ghosts? I would say no. Let's see here. Ario says, Hola, Mr. Bob. Happy Halloween. Unique fact of Japan. Japanese people pronounce the word Halloween in a hilarious way. Yeah, I can't pronounce that. Halloween. It's probably very challenging to say the double L. Um I'm not sure I would say pronouncing it wrong is hilarious but uh certainly it is not an easy word to pronounce at all. Probably for English learners in a lot of different countries. Halloween. I should say it a few times, shouldn't I? Halloween. Halloween. Uh let's see here. Mickey, you think it's useful for our speaking to watch your lessons and repeat right after? I've done it and it feels like it's helping my mouth muscles to speak. Yes, I definitely think shadowing where you listen to an English lesson and then repeat what the person is saying. I think it's a very, very good activity for sure. Naomi T. Hi, teacher Bob. What is the most memorable costume you wore as a kid? The cow one. Thank you in advance. Yes, definitely the cow. I think my brothers and sisters and I would fight over who got to wear the cow costume when we were kids. Um definitely that was something we fought over. So, lolly lolly. Bonjour, Bob. Short question. Disguise and dress up equals the same meaning. Merci. So, here's how I use dress up and to wear a costume is that's how I would talk about Halloween but if you were like a spy in another country, you would wear a disguise, okay? So, they are similar in the sense that you're making yourself look different but we don't usually use the word disguise when we're talking about a Halloween costume. We usually say, he's dressed up as Batman or I didn't recognize you. What are you dressed up as? Or I'm going to go get a Halloween costume. That's how we would talk about that. But if I said I'm going to go to France and spy on them, I would say I'm going to wear a disguise so no one recognizes me. That's the difference between those two. Next question from Notive. Hi there. I'm pretty sure there will be a Halloween event at the mall. Can you know what to do in a Halloween event? Thanks. So, I'll talk a little bit about Halloween decorations. Usually, um some stores will decorate for Halloween. They'll use the color orange because that's the most common color associated with Halloween and when you go to the mall, they might have some things as well. Generally, there isn't anything more than something to look at and they might hand out some candy um even if it's not Halloween yet. Uh next question from Akbar. Hi, I wanna ask you, sir, is there anything special or different in Canada on Halloween? Did you have a memorable experience or funny incident on Halloween? So, um the only thing that would be like the the most celebrated thing or the thing people most often do is to go out trick-or-treating. They take their kids out or their kids go out. One memorable Halloween for me, we went to my grandparents who lived in a town and we went door to door uh trick-or-treating in that town. We didn't always do that but uh that was fun. We got a lot more candy that year. Uh let's see here. Not sure about the next question. So, I'm gonna skip it and then we'll get back to the lesson in a minute. As busy as a bee. Game. Name three things about Halloween quickly and say them out loud. Uh jack-o'-lantern, treats, um trick-or-treating. Sorry, I'm cheating. I'm using one of the phrases I've already taught. Uh but you will definitely see a lot of jack-o'-lanterns. Jack-o'-lanterns. 
Dr. Scatman says, hello from Thailand. I'd like to know what do you, what to do in trick or treat activity. Can you explain? So, kids will go up to a house in their neighborhood with a bag. They'll ring the doorbell. The person will open the door. They'll say trick or treat and the person will give them candy. They'll put a candy in their bag and they'll go from house to house doing this. That is what trick or treat is all about. Okay, let me see where I am here. Um sometimes people dress up as witches. So, a witch is a character who maybe if you read books, you'll read about witches. I think there's witches in Macbeth if you ever read Shakespeare. Witches sometimes make potions and they do magic and sometimes they're considered to be bad people but there are things like um yeah, I'm trying to think here. There is a good witch, isn't there? Uh in why can't I remember the name? Maybe someone could tell me what movie the good witch is. Oh, the Wizard of Oz. There's a good witch. Um so, a witch is um kind of an evil woman uh that uh but not always. Sometimes they're good. Yeah, but sometimes people dress up as witches. I'm not explaining this one very well. You should look at the spelling of witch though. We have a few spellings of the word witch in <coughs> in English. Excuse me. I'm not quite sure what that was. But this is the scariest picture I have in the slideshow. These are zombies. Zombies, sometimes people dress up as zombies. It's become a lot more popular in the last 15 or 20 years. I think zombie movies have become very popular. A zombie is someone who has, well, they're a a fictional character who has died and come back to life. So, sometimes people will dress up as a zombie. I'm not a big fan of dressing up in ways that scare people like that but you probably have watched movies with zombies and if you go out for Halloween, you'll definitely see one or two kids dressed up as zombies. It does happen. What do you get at Halloween? You get candy or you get chocolate bars or candy bars. Um you go to a house, you ring the doorbell and then someone comes. So, we're ready to go here. We have the this is the box that we bought for uh Halloween to hand out to kids. So, you can see there are, I don't know how close I can put this. Will it focus? Here we go. So, there are four different kinds of chocolate bars in here. In my part of Canada, I call these chocolate bars. In some parts of the world, they would call them candy bars. We usually don't hand out candy. We usually hand out chocolate bars. I think because I like chocolate bars and so, that's what we hand out. These chocolate bars are quite small. So, we usually, should I open it? If I open it, will I start eating them? I might start eating them if I open it but I'm gonna open it to show you. Jen said we can't open this till actual Halloween but you can see, let me get one of each of these out. I'm not gonna eat them, I promise. Uh you can see that they're quite small. Um so, we usually let kids, this one has a coffee flavor. Kids don't really like that one. Um in Canada, Smarties are actually a form of chocolate and then we have Kit Kat which you might be familiar. We usually let the kids who come to our door, we usually let them take about five or six, a small handful. Um we don't actually have a lot of kids come to our house for Halloween. So, we usually give out quite a bit of chocolate. We would just refer to all of these things as treats. So, the candies, the chocolate, All of it is simply called treats. Sometimes people hand out licorice. They hand out small bags of potato chips. They hand out chocolate. Um we would just refer to all of them as treats and now you can see why kids say trick or treat because they get a treat. Uh so, I mentioned when I was a kid uh that one of our neighbors would give us money and that neighbor still does give out money. We have a neighbor who instead of getting can actually our kids would get candy They would get chocolate and they would get a loony which is one dollar in Canada and I think the last time we went out a few years ago, they got a toonie from our neighbor. So, at some places, they will hand out money. It's rare though but uh, it does happen sometimes. Uh we also had a neighbor that would give each of our kids a can of pop. You might call it soda in your part of the world. Um my kids really liked going to that neighbor because they liked getting a can of pop for Halloween. Um and it was uh yeah, that's not a common thing to get. Most kids, if you go trick or treating in a city, 
If you go to a house, you will get one little chocolate bar or one little candy, okay? That is the most common thing to happen but because I live out in the country, I think the treats were a little bigger and better because people knew kids weren't going to a lot of different houses. Um when kids go out for Halloween, they will take a bag with them. They will have a bag to go trick or treating. Um usually, it's just any old bag. We would just use reusable grocery bags but sometimes kids will have an actual bag that has you know a jack-o'-lantern on the side and they'll take that out when they go trick or treating. They'll have a special bag um when they go out to get candy. Um but yeah, you do need a bag because you're usually gonna end up with almost half a bag of candy depending on how long you go out for and how many houses you go to. So, many people, let me get this a little bit bigger for you. There we go. So, I'm not sure if you can see this but some people will decorate the outside of their house for Halloween. We don't decorate our house for Halloween. Sometimes, we'll have a couple jack-o'-lanterns out which I'll show you in a moment um but we don't put up lights and we don't put up scary things but some people like to decorate their house for Halloween which means they'll put out you know some lights, some pumpkins and some other things which I'll talk about uh to make their house look a little bit spooky. So, the English word spooky means a little bit scary or a little bit um frightening. People will try to maybe they'll have a little speaker outside playing spooky sounds. Maybe they'll have you know different things on the front of their house like if you look in this picture, you can see there's cobwebs and a candle and a spider and a jack-o'-lantern. Let's talk about all of those things. So, pumpkins are the most common thing to see outside of someone's house for two reasons. Uh, one, it's very close to Thanksgiving right now. Canadian Thanksgiving was two weeks ago. American Thanksgiving is about three weeks after Halloween. So, the same some of the same decorations that people put outside their house for Halloween like pumpkins also work as decorations for Thanksgiving which for Americans is coming up in a few weeks. None of the spooky decorations stay out for Thanksgiving but some people might have bales of straw. They might have pumpkins and other things. So, that it kind of works for both holidays but if you need a pumpkin, you will usually make a trip to a pumpkin patch. This is a very common fall activity for people in North America. You will go with your family especially if you have little kids. You will go with your family to a pumpkin patch and you will pick out a pumpkin or two and you will buy them and take them back to your house and maybe put them on your front step or outside your front door. I have not gone to a pumpkin patch for a long time. Um in fact, I don't know if I've ever gone to a pumpkin patch with our kids. No, maybe once. I'll have to ask Jen. Um but I know a few of my colleagues with little kids are going to a pumpkin patch tomorrow on Saturday to pick out some pumpkins to decorate their house. Uh and what people will do is they will uh make what's called a jack-o'-lantern. A jack-o'-lantern is a pumpkin where you remove everything from the inside. You cut a hole in the top and you take off what's now like a lid and you clean out the inside of the pumpkin. All of the seeds and there's some you know gooey wet insides that you take out and then you will carve a face in the front or another design and you will put a candle or a flashlight or a little lant- lantern inside the pumpkin and it's a really cool. It looks really cool in the dark, okay? You can see here. Let me make this bigger. Uh you can see here that the pumpkins glow orange. So, the light comes out the front. Um many people will do this as an activity close to Halloween uh with their kids. They'll buy a pumpkin. They'll make jack-o'-lanterns. Kids do this often at school as an activity in our area as well. Um sometimes people will put spiders outside their house. You can see there's a big spider, fake spider on this pillar. And this house in particular, this is a pretty standard um front door for someone's house close to Halloween. People will decorate and it will look like that. Spiders are also scary and spooky. Um all of the things that frighten people show up around Halloween. Um and then people will put up fake spider webs or what we sometimes call cobwebs. 
So, spider webs and cobwebs are the little um web that a spider will make in real life but people will actually buy um fake spider webs and put spider webs up in the front of their house to make it look a little more spooky as well. And then interesting people will often have some kind of skeleton. This year in North America a few people have bought really really tall skeletons. They're like 12 feet tall. So, three meters tall. I think that would be almost four meters tall. I they scare me. I don't like skeletons but people will sometimes decorate the front of their house with skeletons. You can see now how Halloween is a very weird thing because it's about kids dressing up and going out to get candy but it is also about people trying to scare each other a little bit. So, it's fun for kids but it's also kind of scary. I'm it's kind of a it's a weird It's a weird thing to celebrate in my opinion. Um people will often have like little fake bats on the front of their house. A bat is a small animal that flies around at night and eats insects. So, people will buy fake bats. You understand the word fake I think, right? They go to a store and they buy a bat that's made out of plastic and they'll put a few bats on the front of their house as decoration. And then there's always some kind of monsters somewhere. I think this might be Frankenstein. I'm not 100% sure but uh monsters are any kind of you know imaginary um being that is meant to scare people. So, sometimes people will have fake monsters at the front of their house um just to uh give people a little bit of a fright to scare people a little bit. Um let me see. Oh, yes. Let's go one more. And sometimes people will put tombstones or what we also would call uh gravestones in their yard. They'll actually have fake ones and it'll say RIP on it. Can you understand now why I said this is a strange thing, Halloween? Because it's it's about fun and kids go out for candy and then people decorate their houses to be really scary. So, it's kind of weird but a tombstone is where after someone dies and they're buried in a cemetery or a graveyard they'll put a tombstone there with their name and so, people will sometimes put fake tombstones on their front yard and RIP means rest in peace. So, um yeah, kind of a strange a strange thing to do. Hey, let's make a little switch here. I'm finding it kind of weird to explain Halloween to people. This uh this celebration of these strange practices of trying to scare each other but at the same time, it's fun for kids. Um here we go. We are going to move into uh members only chat mode and while I'm doing that, I will continue to answer questions and uh so, if you are a member, if you have clicked that subscribe button at some point in the past, you can ask ask questions directly in the chat. Um I do wanna say hi to the 530 people watching. This is a lesson about Halloween, an English lesson about Halloween. Stick around if you wanna learn some words and phrases. Alex says, hello, Professor Bob. Talking about Halloween, do you like to watch scary movies like Chucky, The Conjuring, Friday the 13th? No, I do not like horror movies at all. Scary movies are not something that I enjoy at all. I think I've seen one in my life when I was younger and I did not like it. I didn't like it at all. Um let me see here. Let's get to the next question. So, this is a good question from Audie. Do you know when they have this tradition and who was the original? I don't know a whole lot about the history of Halloween. I should have done some research on it but uh I do not know how it originally started. I think it was originally um somewhat religious but don't quote me on that. You'll have to go to Wikipedia and figure that out. Let's see here. The first question is Sean says, members only. Woot woot. Julia says, Happy Halloween, dear teacher. Very important question here. Who do you think would win if a vampire, a zombie, and a werewolf had a fight against each other? The vampire. If it was nighttime, I think the vampire would win. Yeah, definitely. I'm not sure. The zombie would definitely lose. Then it would be between the vampire and the werewolf, I think. Um, let's see here. Um, Key Park. Halloween is strange, scary, and interesting. I wonder what the origin of Halloween is and only North Americans celebrate Halloween. Thanks and happy Halloween. So, Halloween is this um let me just do a search for you. 
So, yeah, it is celebrated outside of North America. It says, uh, people celebrate Halloween in Ireland, Mexico, Italy, and Portugal are a few countries where there are some Halloween-like celebrations. So, I think it's mostly North American with a few other countries celebrating it. Um, let's see. And as to the origin, that I'll leave that up to you guys. You guys can do a a little search later and figure out uh how Halloween started. Um, let's see here. SEO Wu is here and says, hello, Bob. I like today's topic. No problem. Mode eggs. Retitle this video, Bob the Canadian unboxing candy bars. Yeah. This is a lot, eh? You know, the problem is now that it's open, I'm I'm probably gonna eat one later and I don't really need to eat chocolate bars right now. Uh let's see here. Freddie. Hi, Bob. I hope you're not scared by your lesson. In fact, Halloween is a contraction of All Hallows Eve which means the eve of All Hallows Day and can be translated as the eve of all saints. Ah, nice. A little bit of history there from Freddie. Merci beaucoup. Naomi, when I was a kid, there was no Halloween event in my country. I wish we had it. It is fun. I do like it. Uh Keith Park says, happy Halloween to Lolly. Snazzy says, welcome. Oh, Snazzy doesn't say that. Snazzy has joined as a member. Hi, Snazzy. Welcome. Good to see you over here on this channel as well. Snazzy, a very regular commenter on my other channel. Maria C. Happy Halloween, Bob. We don't usually celebrate it in Argentina but some people do. I think that is festivity is spreading all over the world as years pass by. Yes, I think it's becoming um a little more popular. I think it's becoming popular with young people because they like to have Halloween parties. I think that's becoming more popular. Uh let's see here. Modag says, look who has just joined. Welcome to the club, Snazzy. Yes, welcome, Snazzy. Uh Lolly says, thanks to Key Park. Let's see. Julia says, ha ha, thanks. I also think that vampire would win. Maria C. By the way, I love all the candies and chocolate bars. I love to visit people just to get some sweets. Yes. You know what's nice is when we would go out for Halloween with my kids, when we went to my mom's house, she would still give me candy even though I was f- for in my late forties. Um Mickey says, do people usually complete what house is the most decorated? I've heard that teens are used to playing pranks on people on Halloween. Is that true? So, two things. Some towns will have competitions for the best decorated house. Our town doesn't but it is it that that does happen and yes, sometimes teenagers on Halloween instead of going trick or treating, they will do things. They'll like they'll do the actual tricks like they might put toilet paper in someone's trees. They might do things worse than that actually. So, it's not common but sometimes teenagers do go out and do that. Uh let's see here. Anywat says, hi teacher Bob. Just seen 888,000 888,000 subscribers. Wonderful number before Halloween. Hope you hit 1 million subs soon. Happy Halloween. Thanks Anywat. Um Rod, were your kids great Halloween fans when they were younger? Thanks for the mention on your second channel video. It means a lot. Yeah, I actually uh talked about Rod in that video. I have to remember when I made it. It was last night that I made it. Um what was I gonna say? Yes, my kids liked Halloween but they didn't always like their costumes. One year, we went out and they dressed up as robots and it wasn't a very good costume and it kept falling apart. Um but they do always, they did always like the candy for sure. Uh let's see here. Maria C says, I see some Kit Kat there in the box. Definitely. These usually get eaten first, the Kit Kats. Come on, camera. You can focus on that. The camera likes to focus on my face. Doesn't like to focus on the Kit Kat bar. There we go. There are definitely Kit Kats in the bag which is a yummy chocolate. Uh, let's see here. Snazzy says, hi there. It's fun watching Bob and reading your comments. It is fun. Snazzy says, great community. I I cannot take credit for building the community. The community has built itself. That's what I would say. Eugene says, keep safe for Halloween. That's a good point, Eugene. Um Halloween can also be a dangerous evening because a lot of people are walking around at night and it's quite dark. So, when you drive through a town with your car on Halloween, you have to drive very carefully and keep your eyes out for people and kids. Um so, yes, stay safe. 
Uh, Snazzy says, thanks guys. Thanking everyone for the welcome. Linda, here in Italy, old people don't get Halloween. It's more popular among kids and young people. Okay. Uh, Marwanto says, hi all. Moat Eggs says, I really want to say trick to the kids just to see what their reaction would be. Yeah, I don't know if you'd want to do that. They might play like a really bad trick on you. Uh, Snazzy, after finishing this lesson, Bob will definitely finish those Kit Kats first. (laughs) Ha ha. I don't know. You know, the arrow bar, this one, this is a very good chocolate bar as well. Arrow. It's like very light milk chocolate. I do like that one too. Um, let me see. Mode says, if you cover your face with your hand, it'll focus faster. I saw this trick on another live stream. Yeah, probably. Let me try that. So, if I go like this, will it focus faster? Yeah, maybe a little bit. I did set my camera up. It looks for your eyes, eh? The camera. I did set my camera up to stay locked on my face. So, I would have to probably change some settings. Mickey, if I lived in a country that Halloween is common when I was a kid, I think I would have squirreled away every candy I ever got. Yes. So, kids behave differently with the candy they collect. Some eat it right away. Some save it and some kids by Christmas, they still have Halloween candy left. Depends on how fast you eat it. I'll be heading to the store later. Feel the need for buying candies from Linda. Uh, Snazzy says, nah, it didn't work. No, the camera's too focused on me. Um, Freddie, hi, Bob. Which trick did you use when you were a kid? I never played tricks on people. Um, I always just said trick or treat and they gave me candy. I, I was not a trickster when I was a kid. Um, mode eggs. I'll play tricks back on to them as well. I'm a trickster. That's the trick of the trade. It's funny. Mode just used the word trickster and I did. A trickster is someone who plays tricks on people. Lolly lolly. I want to dress up as Wonder Woman. I want her magic powers too. Yeah. Does she have an invisible plane? That'd be kind of cool. Rod says to Snazzy, welcome. Um, and let me get back to Let me turn off members only chat. While I do that, let me say the following. Thank you so much for being members of the channel. If you are watching this and wondering what are members? Members are people who have clicked the join button and they have decided to support me in the work I do. Uh you get your name in green. You get a crown. You get to watch one extra video a month or a week on Wednesdays where I talk about random topics. Quite random actually uh and all that. Uh, let me do a few more questions and then we'll get back to the lesson. Nicholas says, hello teacher. Mexico doesn't have it but we have dead day. Yeah, there are different types of holidays surrounding death and dying and I know that uh in different parts of the world, there's different ways that people celebrate it. Sometimes there's a parade uh and other activities. Um Freddie says, hi, Bob. Are there many people who disguise themselves in undead like Michael Jackson have a good day? So, I think that's from the uh from the the song Thriller, the music video for Thriller. Michael Jackson's dressed up a little bit like a zombie. So, yes, some people do dress up that way. Um the costumes definitely vary from the funny to a little bit scary. Um from your dark personality is recommend a way for me to learn English on Halloween. Um well, watch this video. That would be one good one. Um there's also sometimes things like the great pumpkin Charlie Brown is a Charlie Brown uh, cartoon that might be on TV or you might be able to find online. That would be a good one as well. Uh let's see. Oh, I should get back to the lesson. Let's finish this lesson off. Here we go. So, we were on tombstone. So, uh, someone asked what are the three most common things to do on Halloween? So, number one, if you're a kid, you go out trick-or-treating and you get candy. Number two, if you're old, you probably stay home and hand out candy. But number three, if you are a a teenager or someone in your 20s, maybe even in your 30s, you might go to a Halloween party. Um these are fairly common at universities. Right now on the news last night, they said the police are warning university students not to have big Halloween parties. Um so, we have a few universities close to us. Uh so, on the news, they said the police are concerned that the Halloween parties this year will be too big because of the pandemic and COVID. Um so, generally, 
Those are the three things you do. If you're a kid, you go out trick-or-treating and you get candy. If you're old like me, you hand out candy. And if you're younger, if you're in your late teens or you're in your 20s and you're young and wild and free, you might go to a Halloween party. You might dress up. Even though you're an adult, you would wear a costume and go to a party. Um so, there's something called a haunted house. So, a haunted house is uh a house where you pay money to walk through the house and then they try to scare you. It's kind of hard to describe unless you go to one. You can only go to a haunted house around this time of year. Sometimes if you go to a pumpkin patch to get a pumpkin, they might also have a haunted house there. So, a haunted house is basically an old building or place where you go and you pay money to get scared. It's kind of weird to think about. It's done for entertainment. It's done for fun. I have only been to one haunted house in my life uh and it did scare me. It I think I mentioned it earlier when I was younger. I went to a haunted house where you rode a little you were in a little car. It's kind of hard to describe. It was like a little mini roller coaster haunted house. I don't know. I'm not making any sense but it scared me. I don't like haunted houses. You might uh watch a horror movie. So, earlier we had the question about the Halloween movies or Chucky or There's a whole genre of movies called Halloween movies um and these are movies that are designed to entertain people by scaring them, okay? I've only seen one horror movie in my life. I think it was Pet Cemetery by from Stephen King um and I didn't like it. I really like movies but I am not a fan of horror movies. Some people love horror movies. They love movies um where there's just a lot of violence and people running around in the dark and it's scary and there's monsters and I don't like them. I just don't. I just do not do not like horror movies at all. Um here's a movie poster from a really old one um but uh I will not be celebrating Halloween by watching a horror movie. I mentioned earlier that people will do uh pumpkin carving. Uh pumpkin carving is something you do after you buy a pumpkin. You can see here that what you do is you cut out the top of the pumpkin and then you use a knife to cut usually a face but sometimes people will do um like really decorative carving. They'll really do something cool and there are actually pumpkin carving competitions uh in some places uh around us right now. So, if you are really good at it, you could win a competition. And then one thing that shows up this time of year, this isn't specifically about Halloween but we have a lot of things that you can buy that have pumpkin spice flavor. So, you can go and get a coffee that's pumpkin spiced flavored coffee. You can get pumpkin spiced flavored cake. You can get pumpkin spice flavored anything. You can get pumpkin spiced flavored candles. I know that sounds weird because you don't eat a candle but it smells like pumpkin spice. The only way I can describe pumpkin spice is you have to uh you have to experience it to know if you like it or not. I'm not a big fan of pumpkin spice. Hey, that's the end of the Halloween lesson uh but you can stick around. I am going to answer questions for a bit. I do want to thank the 541 people who are watching. If you click this red subscribe button, you will become a subscriber and it will make you happy. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Okay, it won't necessarily make you happy but it makes me happy to think it might make you happy. I am going to finish off the lesson by answering questions. So, let's jump back to the question form. Uh let's see here. Zora says, Dear teacher Bob, I'm grateful for your live stream. It is the first time that I can join in the live stream. Little fix there. Could I ask what does the philosophy behind Hallow or what is the philosophy behind Halloween? Yeah, that's an interesting one because on one hand, the philosophy is enjoying your neighborhood by going around as a kid and getting candy from your neighbors but on the other hand, for some people, it's a it's an evening of um being like scaring people as an, a form of entertainment. So, it's kind of a strange I'll just keep saying Halloween is a strange thing to celebrate. Uh this is from Isam. Hello, my dear Bob. How are you? I miss you. I don't have a question but happy Halloween. Thank you, Isam. Um Key says, what is the trick or treat come from? I don't know where this came from. 
Um, I will have to research the actual origin of the words trick or treat and how that became a thing. Let me have a little sip of tea here. Amanj says, hello great teacher. How are you doing? What is the meaning of this sentence? So, I have to rearrange some words there. I am scared to death. Thanks a lot. When you are really really scared, we describe it by saying, you know, I was scared to death. You know, I I walked out to uh, my car the other night and all of a sudden someone said hi to me and I was scared to death. Like, they scared me to death. It's just a way of um saying that you're scared in like to emphasize that you were really really scared. So, this is from Romeo. Hello, Bob. Do the kids knock on the doors in every house of the neighborhood around their homes to do the trick or treating or do they go only to the houses they know? It depends on what the parents decide. When I was a kid, we only went to houses of people I knew um but a lot most kids just go to the houses in their neighborhood and it doesn't matter if they know the people or not, okay? So, We have taken our kids to town to go trick or treating and we go to houses of people that we know and people that we don't know. We go to both. Um Sean says, perhaps you could discuss some of the bad things kids do at Halloween like smashing pumpkins, toilet papering the house or trees and soaping windows. So, those are probably the three most common. Thanks, Sean. Um I think I briefly mentioned toilet papering. When you TP someone's house, or when you TP their trees, it means you throw, you get a roll of toilet paper and you throw it through all the branches. Um so, that's something kids do. I haven't heard about soaping windows lately but when I was younger, um people would go out and they would put soap on people's windows but that was, I wonder if that still happens quite a bit but kids do sometimes smash pumpkins um which gives me melancholy and and infinite sadness. That's a deep joke. If you get that joke, (laughs) uh that you get a gold star if you get that one. Uh let's see here. Hopefully, Sean, let's see if Sean gets that joke. Sean, when people talk about smashing pumpkins, it it makes me feel melancholy and it gives me infinite sadness. I'll explain that joke in a sec. Let's get to the next question. Uh let's see here. This is from Hiroyuki. Greetings, Bob. When I lived in Cupertino in the US, I see, I don't even know how to pronounce that. Cupertino. I used to dress up as a monster like Godzilla on Halloween. What kind of monster do you want to dress? Godzilla would be a good monster to dress up as. That would be a cool costume, I think. Um, yes, Sean got the joke. So, there is a band or there was a band called Smashing Pumpkins and they put out an album called Melancholy and the Infinite Sadness, I think. I think it had a song called Bullet with butterfly. I can't remember. I'm revealing my age here but anyways, that was a really lame joke on my part. But yes, Godzilla would be a cool costume. This is from Mikhail. Hello, Bob. I have a question. How common is Halloween in your country? I'm from Russia and it is not very common in our country but I think the holiday is very funny. I would say where I live, it's very common. I would say that 80% of kids go out for Halloween. 80% of kids go trick or treating. Um if you go to any town or city on October 31st around 5 30, 6 o'clock at night, you'll start to see kids with their parents usually uh walking around in costumes out trick or treating. Um Sean says, I bought that album when I it was released in the 90s. Uh it was a double album and yeah, Bullets with Butterfly Wings was on it. Yes. Which I think the first line is the the world is a vampire which is kind of Halloweeny, isn't it? It's a good song to listen to for Halloween, I guess. Um Sala says, hey teacher Bob, is it a Christian religious event or a social one? It is definitely now a social event although it sounds like if you were to research it, it has religious origins but it is now considered a normal social event. It's not a religious event uh, at this point. Alex says, who is Mario from the slide about to dress up? Mario is a character from uh um Mario Brothers, right? From Nint- the Nintendo game. Um let's see here. First Mario game. So, it sounds like Super Mario Brothers came out. When did it come out? I'm trying to find a date. 
God uh, doesn't matter. Anyways, one of the first Nintendo games featured that character. So, sometimes kids will dress up as computer game characters as well. Nina has the next question. Hi, Bob. I'm from Indonesia. What do people usually do on Halloween besides trick or treat? Thank you. So, kids go trick or treating usually with their parents if they're really young. Sometimes with their friends if they're a bit older. What do people like me do? I sit home and I hand out these candies to anyone who comes and then around 8 30, 9 o'clock, I just eat the rest of the candies myself because usually by um yeah, usually by about 8 30 or 9 p.m. uh Halloween is kind of over. Mostly because it's little kids, right? They need to go home and they need to go to bed on time and stuff like that. Um Obart says, happy holiday teacher. Take care. Is there a big deal in shops at Halloween in Canada? Thank you. So, some will decorate like grocery stores will have like some decorations up. They'll have some pumpkins and they'll have a few other things. Um if you go to the mall, there will probably be some Halloween decorations. It's not as big a deal as Christmas. Christmas would be the holiday where you see the most decorations but some stores will have some decorations up. Martin, hi teacher Bob. Do you have any typical foods on Halloween in Canada? What kind of pumpkins do you eat? Sorry for my English greetings from Hungary, Budapest. So, definitely lots of candy would be a typical food but also because there are a lot of pumpkins right now, um we grow pumpkins for decoration but we also have pumpkins to make pumpkin pie. So, it's not super common but I will probably have some pumpkin pie at some point over the next week. Um usually someone at work will bring in a pumpkin pie around this time of year. So, that would be a somewhat typical food to see. Um not super popular but but definitely if you go to the store right now, if you wanted a pumpkin pie, you could buy one. Kizmo has the last question. Hi, teacher Bob. Which movie scared you the most? Thanks. Um yeah, I think that that one horror movie I watched scared me the most and I I think it was a Stephen King. Stephen King writes horror novels. I think it was a Stephen King movie that I saw. Hey, that is the lesson on Halloween. Again, I know this is a fairly specific lesson. It won't necessarily help you if you're learning English in a country that doesn't celebrate Halloween um but if you watch a TV show and there's and they talk about Halloween or if you watch a movie, an English movie and they talk about Halloween, hopefully, you'll understand a little bit more about what goes on on this evening uh once a year in October. By the way, last year, there was no Halloween. It was the first year when Halloween didn't happen because of the pandemic. This year in my part of Ontario, Canada, there is Halloween. Okay, I shouldn't say that. There was Halloween last year but most people most people didn't go out because of COVID but this year, more people will be going out, I think. Uh, anyways, that's it. Hey, this lesson will be available in a shorter form on October 31st. So, I will edit this. I will get rid of the user comments and make it into a pure lesson. So, if you do want to watch it or listen to it one more time, always a good thing to do uh and it will have better, it'll have subtitles, English subtitles to help you. Uh we will be doing uh I will be doing a live lesson tomorrow. Let's check the weather here. The weather says Saturday, periods of rain or drizzle, wind east 30 kilometers an hour, gusting to 70. That's pretty windy. Becoming lighter near noon, rain ending afternoon, temperature 11. So, we will be inside tomorrow. So, there will be a live question and answer session tomorrow. Uh I'll be sitting right here. Sorry, outside. Sounds like the weather will be pretty bad. I will put up my uh camera so we can see what's happening outside. Uh anyways, that's it. Thanks to Todd and Dave for watching. Thanks to Rod and Brent and Sean, the English teachers. Rod, the English teacher. Sean from Free 99 English and uh I know Brent was here. He might be working now. Brent from American English with this guy. Thanks for hanging out and making the chat better. Um Did I thank Dave and Todd already? I'll thank him again. Thanks, Dave and Todd. Uh and then bye to Audie and Lemon Cute and Lolly and Oh Mickey and Freddie and let's scroll back here. Mode Eggs and Snazzy. Thanks for becoming a member, Snazzy. Key Park, Eugene, Anuat, Julia, Olis as well. Keep scrolling back. Gorav, uh, Beauty Soul, Min Fuang. It's hard for me to say some of the names. Thank you to all of you for being here. I'm scrolling back. Thanks to Nightbot for sharing the link. Thanks, Nightbot. I'm in kind of a funny mood this morning because I don't 
uh, have to teach today. I do have to go to work but I don't have to teach. So, uh, hi to Wando and Wanda. Sorry, Wanda. Maria C. Uh, and I'll stop saying uh, I think I'm saying hi now instead of bye. I was supposed to be saying bye. Bye, everybody. Uh, have a good day. I'll see you tomorrow at the uh, next live lesson.